Good morning everyone. What a lovely and pleasant day, isn't it? One of those days when you think you will rise, shine and conquer the world. But then you hit the snooze button, close your eyes and decide to sleep for a little longer. The biggest challenge in the morning is to leave the bed. And once you leave the bed, to be up and running. And that is what we are here to help you with. Namaste. My name is Vinay. I'm a teacher at the Yoga Institute and today we are going to wake you up. We had a lot of people telling us in our comment section that they too want to seize the morning but just don't have enough energy when they wake up. If you are one of those people then today's episode is just for you because today we are going to talk about lethargy. Mornings are like the first 15 minutes of a film. You can either set the tone for a bright, energetic and productive day or can make it dull and insipid with your lethargy. Now, whether you are bored, lazy or plain tired, here are a few quick and easy yogic techniques to refresh and recharge you in the morning and prepare you to take on the day. One of the most simplest things that one can do to increase energy within themselves is a simple pranayam called as Surya Bhedan. Now, Surya Bhedan, as the name suggests, is associated with the sun. So anytime you're feeling lethargic, low on energy, you can do Surya Bhedan to instantly arouse the vibrant sun within you. To do Surya Bhedan, please sit down on your mat in either Sukhasan, Padmasan, or any meditative posture of your choice. Gently take your right or your left hand, close your middle fingers, use your little finger and your thumb, bring it close to your nose, close your left nostril, Take a deep inhalation from your right nostril. Close your right nostril with your thumb and exhale out from your left nostril. Once again, close your left nostril, inhale from your right nostril. Close your right nostril with your thumb and exhale out from your left nostril. You can repeat this process for a couple of times. As said earlier, the right nostril is associated with the sun and this immediately generates a lot of energy and heat within you which takes care of your lethargy absolutely immediately. It's a very simple pranayam that can be done by everybody except for people suffering from ulcers or acidity. Very important and people who are suffering from very high fever should avoid doing Surya Bhedan. Rest everybody can do this. A second simple bhava that we can do to increase energy within us is Chakrasan, which is a wheel pose done traditionally at the Yoga Institute. It's a great asana, it's a forward bending asana, it's a great asana for your extremities, both your arms and your legs. It's a good stretch for your spine. You will see it, how energetic you feel after doing that asana. To start, stand with two, two and a half feet distance between your feet, stomach in normal contour, arms by your side, make fists of your palms, look straight, gently inhaling, take your arms up, bring it close to your ears, gently bend backwards, now exhaling, bend forward, keeping your arms and ears together, when you're going completely down, take your hands in the back, interlock them and take, twist them and turn them forward as much as you can, stay in this position for a couple of seconds, Gently bring your arms down, release your arms, bring your arms close to your feet, make the fist, keep them close to your ears, gently come up and release your arms and bring them down from side. As you can see, a very simple asana, but really, really a great asana for your extremities, both your arms and your legs, a great extension for your spine, a great asana that builds a lot of energy within you that takes care of your lethargy immediately. As I said, a very simple asana, anybody can do it except for people with arthritis, knee injuries, back issues, hypertension and cardiovascular issues. Rest each and everyone can do this asana. One important thing to remember is like all our previous asanas of bending forward, this asana also inculcates the bhava of vairagya within you. Just to teach you that no matter how much energy and power you inculcate or draw or produce within you, humility is paramount. 
So do this asana and take care of your lethargy immediately. One of the most important asanas that you can do to take care of your lethargy is Konasan 3. It's a great asana, a combination of twist and bending forward. While doing this, you will understand that your entire body, your entire limbs get involved and there is a huge blood circulation that goes in your entire body. To do it, take a little distance, about two to two and a half to three feet distance between your feet, stand straight, waist is normal, chest thrown forward, Raise your arms at your shoulder level, palms facing towards the ceiling. Gently inhaling, take your arms out. Look towards your right palm. Exhaling, take your right palm towards your left feet. As soon as you touch it, twist and look towards your left palm that is facing towards the ceiling. Stay in this position for a couple of seconds. Gently look down towards your right palm. Inhaling, bring it up. Once it is up, look towards your left palm, exhaling, twist and take your left palm towards your right feet. Once you touch the right feet, twist and look towards your right arm that is towards the ceiling. Stay in this position for a couple of seconds. Gently look down towards your left palm, inhaling, come up, look in the center, turn your palms downwards, exhaling, bring them down. As you can see, a very graceful and a wonderful asana, which really has a great movement, good for your intra-abdominal compression and twist as well. This improves the circulation of your entire body and takes care of your lethargy immediately. A simple asana can be done by everybody, except for somebody who has got arthritis, severe knee injuries, intra-abdominal surgery that has been happened, cardiovascular issues or hypertension. Rest, everybody can do this asana. So as you can see, it's a combination of a twist and bending down. You get to learn about your body and the various muscles that are involved during this asana. So this asana inculcates the bhava of knowledge and surrender within you. A great bhava to take care of your lethargy immediately. Now these were some really easy techniques to take lethargy away from your system and infuse yourself with some energy right from the moment you wake up. However, don't forget, the simplest technique to tackle all of this is to just show up. Your intent is half the job done. Now to add a little more sunshine to our day, let us hear it from our guru and guiding light, Hansa Ji, lovingly known as Ma. Namaskar. What a lovely morning. Birds are chirping, things are so beautiful. But why are you so lazy, lying down, lethargic? Why? Because today you don't have to go to work or don't have any agenda. All five days, six days, you have a rhythm. You get up on a particular time and go in today because there is no rhythm. You are going to disturb your whole system. System needs a rhythm. Then system is very relaxed. So you should get up as you get up every day. Now you have to take a long breath because you need more oxygen always for your brain to become alert. One or two long breaths. You can do that with your eyes closed because you are dull, lethargic. And then try and give some nerve stimulants, energy to your nerve endings. And so rub your fingers like this. Rub them a little bit. Then rub your middle hand like this and rub your end part, the last part of your hand, like this. And then press your both hands together, Namaste. That gives a good circuit to your energy and you will feel much better. And then tighten your eyes, relax and open your eyes. Look on one side, another side, up, down, rotate. Do that little eye movement and then you get up turn to the side and get up and first thing you would go in your washroom is to take water and splash water in your eyes splash water on your face and just move your hand but don't wipe your face with napkin keep it wet what is happening your body needs water now your skin externally needs water internally needs water body and so try and see that you keep your skin wet and let it dry as it is. Every cell of your face, face would be fresh and that's what has to happen. All lethargy will go away 
then drink a glass of warm water uh, and try and go ahead with your evacuating bowels, walking. All this is fixed morning routines and we should focus on that not to get distracted at all. Well, now food is a fuel of our body and mind and we have to give some fuel to our system. Whole night we were not eating anything. Breakfast is a must. Please, please understand, never neglect breakfast. Just see that you don't take too much of carb in breakfast and sugar and sugary thing in breakfast. What you need to give your body is natural glucose and that is fruits and natural things like nuts almonds, pistachio, cashew nuts and all those nuts. Understand, usually people have coffee, tea, all that in the morning, but these things are nerve stimulant. You will feel very fresh when you take, but after effect is very lethargic, very dull. And so avoid these things. Have herbal drink, that would be best. So all these things are really going to keep you away from lethargy, dullness, and you would really spend your day and time meaningfully. So take care. Namaskar. Thank you so much, Ma, for your kind and inspiring words. Hope you guys have already left your bed, couch, and raring to make this morning and the rest of the day count. If you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the like button. Please comment below if you think if you have any morning issue that you want us to help you resolve. Share this video with your friends and family to supercharge their mornings too. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification every morning for our show. We will return every day at 7.30 a.m. in the morning to talk, discuss and resolve your morning issues. Until then, remember, well begun is half the battle won. Good morning to you all and have a pleasant day.